The lion, Panthera leo, is famous the world over for its strength, power, and majesty. With adult males weighing up to 225 kilograms or 496 pounds, they are apex predators in their ecosystem. They can hunt as a pride to take down large prey such as buffalo. They have a hierarchical social structure, and the cubs are all raised together by multiple females. This all helps lions survive and thrive in the ecosystem in which they live today. They are not endurance hunters. Instead, they rely on the element of surprise, stalking closely to their prey before launching an attack. In a flat-out sprint, lions have been known to reach speeds of 40 miles per hour, but they cannot sustain these speeds. When they are close enough to an animal, they leap onto the back of their prey, using their weight and sharp claws to bring it crashing to the ground. Then, they deliver a fatal bite, typically by closing their jaws around the animal's throat. Lions can consume up to a quarter of their body weight in one sitting. Now, today, these impressive and iconic big cats are only found in Africa and a very small part of India called Gir National Park. They are well adapted to the climate and habitat in these regions, but could lions have survived during the Mesozoic Era? Known as the Age of Reptiles, the Mesozoic Era spanned from 252 million years ago. The world was a very different place back then. The Mesozoic saw lots of geological change and subsequently lots of biological change too. The supercontinent Pangaea began breaking up into the continents we know today. The vast deserts that once covered its center retreated as more of the broken up landmass became surrounded by sea, and therefore humidity grew. The global climate was considerably hotter than today, estimated to be about 10 degrees Celsius hotter, with little to no variation from north to south. Dinosaurs first appeared during the mid-Triassic. They went on to diversify and evolve, dominating the landscape for a staggering 150 million years. The plants during that time were predominantly conifers, ginkgo trees, and cycads. Grasses and flowering plants didn't emerge until the early Cretaceous. The only mammals that existed during the Mesozoic were small, no larger than 15 kilograms or 33 pounds. But when the dinosaurs came to their end, it would be the mammals that went on to dominate the landscape, diversifying into the huge array of different species we have today. So, could today's lions have survived during the Mesozoic Era? If lions lived during the Mesozoic Era, then they would be the only large mammals to do so. The reign of the reptiles surpassed mammalian evolution for more than 150 million years. On the African savanna, lions take down a range of mammalian prey, from wildebeest, zebra, and buffalo, to warthog, gimsbok, and giraffe. In India, chittle and samba deer are top of the menu, but during the Mesozoic, the prey species would look a little different. Although many of the dinosaurs were humongous giants, far too big for the likes of a lion to tackle, their young could be considered prey for a pride of hungry lions. However, some of these would be considered formidable prey with a variety of sharp horns, spikes, spines, and heavily armored skin to protect them against the most ferocious of dinosaurs. Perhaps the most heavily armored animal today's lions occasionally prey on is the rhino, with its large horns and thick, tough skin. Although it isn't considered common, lions have been known to take down fully grown rhinos. They work together as a team, sometimes 18 strong, to tackle such a beast. However, it is considered extremely risky for the lions, more common large prey or buffalo. Whilst the lion may take a daring role in aiming for the jugular, the others will leap onto the buffalo from behind, using their weight and strength to try and bring the animal down to the ground. Both rhinos and buffaloes have formidable lines of defense. Horns In the Mesozoic era, a young triceratops could be considered prey for lions during that era, but with its three horns and protective frill behind its head, securing a fatal bite to its jugular could prove challenging for today's lions. Also, like many of the African prey species, Triceratops lived in herds. They likely would have protected the young and vulnerable members of the herd by keeping them in the middle of the group. Another heavily armored herbivore was the Ankylosaurus, 
but with its clubbed tail and osteoderms protecting it from predators, it would probably prove too challenging for any modern-day carnivores to take down. A lion taking on a herd of Triceratops or Ankylosaurus would be an impressive sight, but there may be easier prey out there. Most of the herbivorous dinosaurs during the Mesozoic grew to enormous sizes. The sauropods, characterized by long necks, long tails, and small heads, included well-known genera such as Diplodocus, Brachiosaurus, and Apatosaurus. The largest, known as the Supersaurus, grew up to 34 meters, or 112 feet long. Their large size would likely protect them from modern-day lions, but their offspring could be considered vulnerable. They may have been large, but most sauropods were incredibly slow. A scientific study found that the Argentinosaurus likely had a top speed of just 5 miles per hour. Lions can sprint at speeds up to 40 miles per hour and would easily be able to outrun many of the sauropods. Of course, there were many smaller dinosaurs like Compsognathus, which were only 75 centimeters or 30 inches long, which could have been stalked and preyed upon by lions, but they may not have provided as many nutrients as the larger kills. At first, it seems that lions would be at a severe disadvantage being alive during a time when dinosaurs ruled the world, but they may have actually had some advantages. Being a large mammal, their brain would be much more developed than any dinosaur of similar size. Mammals have a brain 10 times larger than reptiles the same size. This would give the lions a significant advantage, especially when hunting prey. Their social structure and ability to communicate effectively amongst themselves would make them formidable predators for some of the smaller dinosaurs. There would likely be plenty for lions to eat during the Mesozoic. If they kept well away from some of the most heavily armored species, then they would likely find prey in a range of herbivorous dinosaurs. The ornithopods, which included the hadrosaurs, or duck-billed dinosaurs, were some of the most successful dinosaurs to have existed. They fell prey to many carnivores, but managed to keep their numbers high through rapid growth and reproduction. They didn't have any of the formidable defenses that would be dangerous for a lion, and many were a more manageable size. Flowering plants didn't emerge until the early Cretaceous. Until then, gymnosperms, those trees that bore cones such as ginkgo and cycads, dominated the landscape. The lions would have plenty of tree cover to hide behind when stalking prey. Although African lions prefer hunting on the open savanna, the Asiatic lions are better suited to the woods of Gear Forest. Differences in climate, habitat, and food sources would mean that lions would need to adapt in some way if they were to survive during the Mesozoic. Longer, sharper claws and teeth would help them to puncture the thick, tough exterior of the larger dinosaur prey. They may also need to adapt their hunting styles to take down the prey available. We may see them hunting in huge prides to take down a large hadrosaur, rather than just a handful of females, as is often the case in Africa. Large pride sizes could also help as a defense tactic. Lions living in the Mesozoic would have to get used to the fact that they wouldn't be at the top of the food chain, and so they would need to have significant defense strategies, as well as attack ones. Safety in numbers could be one of those defensive tactics. It's not just behavioral changes that the lions may need to adapt to in order to survive. They may also undergo physical changes. The temperature was considerably hotter during the Mesozoic than today. Some lions, such as those in Asia, are becoming maneless to cope with the heat. Researchers have also recently found that lions in Savo and Kenya are delaying the growth of their manes to cope with the scorching conditions. Lions of the Mesozoic may do better as maneless males too. And that's not the only climatic difference that could pose problems for lions. There was significantly more carbon dioxide than today and less oxygen. Either lions wouldn't be able to perform at their peak with diminished oxygen concentrations, or they would need to adapt and make use of the lower oxygen levels. They may develop broader chests to incorporate larger lungs, giving them greater capacity to inhale more oxygen. In a land where giants dominate, it would seem likely that lions would also become large. Indeed, during prehistoric times, some of lions' ancestors were larger than today's lions for that very reason. This was called the megafauna. These are just some of the adaptations that Mesozoic lions may develop in order to survive in a land of dinosaurs. But what do you think? 
Do you think lions could survive the Mesozoic? If you're hungry for more prehistoric wonders and want to continue your journey into the depths of ancient life, we have a captivating recommendation for you. We highly suggest checking out our video titled, Could Smilodon Survive the Mesozoic? Click there to watch it now. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching.